Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I kind of want to go through a design journal review with you guys, kind of go through my thought process, some of the things that I'm thinking about working on, implementing next, and I want to get your feedback. So leave me comments, ideas that you have, other you know technologies that maybe I haven't introduced yet that you think might benefit the project. But And we still have a lot to do, obviously, but I kind of want to go through a design review with you guys. So in the last video, we, we talked about um, how we could use PyTesseract to kind of get this L1 Forest text up here, get that into our computer vision, into our, you know, AI. And, you know, we can, you know, go in and out of the zone and we can get that text updated. So that's going to give us the zone. So in today's video, I want to kind of sketch out some ideas that I have so that you guys can kind of see where I'm going. And like I said, hopefully this will start to percolate into some uh, projects. So I'll start developing some of these ideas as well. But let's, let, let me open up WoW, the game. So I got the game here. Uh, so here's a couple ideas that I have. So, so we're able to detect the Northshire Valley zone now uh, using PyTesseract. So one question is, how are we going to do our pathfinding? So in a lot of games, the way pathfinding is set up is, so for example, uh, let me grab my pen here. So for example, you know, th let's say that this is a map. And there might be like some waypoints that are specified and, and the computer is kind of programmed to follow those waypoints, but that's really cheesy, you know? I mean, yeah, that has an application that can work. Um, you might even argue that a person, you know, in their mind, they have some like waypoint stored, like, okay, I go here to get to the mailbox and whatnot. But you know, that this isn't really artificial intelligence. That's just kind of brute force hard coding. Uh, so what, what I want to do is I want to develop uh, solutions that are more natural, that are more based on artificial intelligence. So one idea I have for the to start our pathfinding is, see how we've got our map up here? And this is exactly what a person would do. So I'll zoom out, uh, or zoom, maybe I'll zoom in just so it's a little more clear. So we have a mailbox icon, we have a question mark icon, which indica indicates a quest. So those are really nice guides for both a person and an AI. So we also obviously have the location of our character, which is the center here. And as we spin around in the world, that's also changing. So we actually can use the map, which is the real interface, to tell our AI where we are, where in the, in the proximity of our character are some important locations, what's our orientation with respect to those or, uh, uh, locations and obviously distance so as we run and get closer to the quest giver in this case we can detect okay now we're close enough to interact with that guy so that's one idea uh, that that I think I'm gonna try to explore now and um, again the reason I'm doing this is we could we could program in we first is we could hack the map we could we could take the 3d map geometry and, and use that to calculate routes and stuff. But to me, that's not the right way. Only because we're not trying to create a bot here for the, at least I'm not, I'm not trying to create a bot for the sake of botting and you know making 10,000 gold a, a day in WoW. Maybe that's your goal, but that's not cool, guys. My goal is to create AI. So that's why I'm doing this project. So I want, to, I want this bot to think like a person, think like a human would, or as close as possible. So that's my first idea. So let me, let me jump back over to my sketch pad. So my first idea is we're gonna have the map and we're gonna have some key location I'll show in blue here. And then we're gonna have our character, which is an arrow. And what we can do is in purple here, we can determine a vector that has our distance and also has our angle here. So that's a, and, and the reason this is, again, this is natural is that's exactly what a person would do. If a person was playing WoW, like take a brand new player, they're gonna understand, okay, this is a map, this is my character, this thing is a little bit to my right, I'm gonna look a little bit to the right, oh, now it's right in front of me. So this is totally apples to apples human cognition. So that's why this is a, a great solution for our goal of making real AI. So that's my idea, that's my, that's my initial idea for us to do some localization and pathfinding, if you wanna call it that. And then the other thing we're gonna to have to do is 
we're going to obvious, obviously have to start implementing some movement. So right now, all our character can do is basically cast spells. Right now, he's just programmed to cast the spell one and two, which and that'll be obviously easy to add more spells. But we want to add some movement. So we're going to want to add forward, backwards, turn left, turn right. We're probably also going to want to add strafing left and right because a lot of players, if you're going to if you're going to move naturally, a lot of people will strafe like this. At least that's how I play. So we're going to want to have uh, the strafing. We're going to want to have uh, you know obviously the movement and the turning, and then we can obviously implement you know turning, running on and off. That's kind of easier stuff. So my 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 goal is it, over the next couple of videos because this is probably a lot for one video is maybe first we'll implement a uh, a file or you know a, a part of the uh, the programming code that's specific for our movements so it'll contain all of our movement functions so for example if I tell the um, uh, the AI to start running okay it starts running maybe there's another function to stop running function maybe to strafe right hold it let go maybe we have a function for bumping so we might do like a bump forward like a you know like a bump forward so we can look at all those different functions. So that'll probably be one video where we'll look at some movement uh, things. And then another one is we're going to look at uh, is how we're going to use this map. How are we going to start to use this map? Now, when we get a little bit more advanced, we might even think about using this map. So uh, if I zoom out, the nice thing about this map is, again, this is just like how a person would do it. If you had no idea where you were, there's a lot of information contained in this map. We have text that we can use to figure out what zone are we in, which is part of what continent, which is part of what world. And it also tells us where stuff is. So, okay, this is my character. So this is my angle between me and the object. Now I've rotated to face that. This is my distance. And of course, these, uh, these maps are usually not to scale. So I don't think we can use this to calculate an exact distance. But within the context of the zone, it can give us an idea of where we're at. And also, I'm also thinking about when, the, so I don't have the map explored in this character, but there's a lot of um, interesting things that are shown on maps, like roads. So if we want to go even further, you know, could we set this up so that the AI can understand that this is a road? And that he should follow this road if he's trying to go from here, you know, which I don't have shown down here. But if I'm going from Northshire down to here to Julia Stevens, I can follow this road. That's something that would be logical for us to try to make our eye figure out. Okay. And also we can we can try to implement pathfinding here visually as well using the game. We have a physical road and try to make the AI stay within the bounds of this left and right as it runs while minimizing the distance to the goal. So these are some of the ideas that I have, guys. I hope you're uh, excited about it. Um, I'm still working on this, so this might change a little bit. This might not be the best way to do it, but I wanted to share with you kind of my thought process to give you an update and get your feedback. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a good idea, bad idea. Maybe you have some suggestions on how we can do this even better. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you in a future video. Thanks.